And we have legendary baseball executive Pete Vinokin with us in the booth. Honored before the game tonight. Pete, always a pleasure to see you. And, Thank you. Uh, welcome Thank back you. to the home TV booth where your good friend Harry Carey worked for so many years. Well, I was privileged to be up here many, many times, and uh, it was always a thrill. And I think Harry's up there saying, you hot dog, you're going to ruin my reputation. <laughs> Get out of there. But, no, but, not at all. You know, he's very proud of you. And Well, we've had a great relationship, and I, I tell you guys, I just am overwhelmed with the treatment the Cubs have given me. Uh, the Ricketts and uh, Crane Kenny and Jim Henry and O'Neary Polito, our boss, and uh, uh, Randy Bush, the whole group. I, I, I'm just humbled by the way this program they put together for me. And I just got to say, you know, they give me a lot of credit, but we got a great staff. My son Rocky's just done an outstanding job in Peoria with Ralph Converse and our whole. A staff of good young people that work hard and are very dedicated and we try to take care of the players and we even provide places to go fishing for the parents. <laughs> I, I know that for a fact. <laughs> well that's why I was going to ask Bob to, to give us the uh, Peoria scoop having uh, spent a lot of time there when his son Michael was a Peoria chief that ball's rolled in the center and that's a third hit for Starlin Castro tonight. Rather fourth hit for Castro. Well, Len, as you know, I've talked about it many times over the years as we get a look at the ceremony on the field before the ball game today. A number of the players that uh, spent some time in Peoria. Yeah, that, that, that was just outstanding. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm just so humbled and overwhelmed when when Crane Kenny called me and told me he wanted to do this. And I, I said, well, I, I, I just do what we're expected to do down there. And we love to take care of the kids all these years and we try to take care of the parents when they come to town and make everybody feel comfortable and uh, I'll, I want the kids to say the best place they played in their career was Peoria Illinois. Is there one or two particular guys who've been your favorites who you would see come through Wrigley Field uh, over the course of their major league career and you'd stay in touch with. No I stay in touch with uh, Greg Maddox by far one of the great players and Mark Grace. Uh, I kind of got out of touch with Rafael Palmero. Unfortunately, he was a great player for us. But uh, uh, you know, all those guys, and you, know, you can't, you can't forget uh, Joe Girardi. Uh, I'm very proud to say we have four active managers that started their career in Peoria, managing in the big leagues today. We got Joe Madden at Tampa, Jim Tracy at Colorado, Joe Girardi. And Brad Mills, and if you want to throw in Pete McCannon, who mm -hmm. was an inner manager for Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, uh, you know, they all started. And by the way, we got two that started their career as our broadcasters in Major League Baseball today Jim Kelch at Cincinnati and Mario and Pemby with the Tigers. So I guess our water's pretty good down there. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. I, I think Kelleher's treating pretty good, don't you think, Bob? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> No, we're proud of all those people that came up through. We got uh, uh, Lester Strode as bullpen coach, Jim Wright's a bullpen coach, Rick Cranis is a pitching coach at uh, Milwaukee, uh, Mike Harkey at uh, with the Yankees. So we got players uh, and I mean coaches and managers that started in Peoria have made the big league. So we're very very proud of that that they came through and plus all the great players we've had. Of course, I got to say. Uh, there's a guy sitting over in that other dugout that played in Peoria. It's not too bad. Albert Poole. Albert Poole, that's yeah. right. So, uh, but they're all great kids, and I just love to get down to the clubhouse every game and just kind of kid around with them and visit with the coaches and the manager, and that's what makes it great. Because let me tell you, and I think you people will both agree, the people you meet, the friends you meet in baseball, are the, your friends for life.